Hey, love bugs, it's your girl Disasters Beauty coming back with the voiceover. So this unit was sent to me by Love Me Hair. Shout out to you, Love Me, for sending me this unit. Right here, I'm just showing you guys what all came in the packaging. Love Me's pack packaging is absolutely amazing, okay, y'all? Like, everything that you see did come in the packaging. Um, right here, that just is the care card. So this is a comb, um, a wax stick, uh, tweezers, uh, a band, a uh, hair clip and uh bobby pins all of this did come in the packaging and it came in a little cute bag so right here i am showing you guys um the cap construction it does come with three cones in the front one comb in the back with adjustable straps plus an elastic band so yeah that is the construction of this wig this unit is their fabulous beyond celebrity style ombre frontal wig i don't have the information as far as the inches how long this wig is but i would guess that it's about 22 inches um it is 150 percent density it is in the number color 4 slash 27 and this unit is pre-tweezed so i'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys watch me style this wig and i will see you love bugs in the outro bye <music> If you are interested in the specs, the details, and all of that good stuff about this unit, then please continue to watch. So this unit was sent to me by Love Me Hair. Shout out to you, Love Me, for sending me this unit. The unit that I am wearing is their fabulous Beyond Celebrity Style Ombre Frontal Wig. So right now, I don't have a whole lot of information about this unit because the company hasn't sent it. All I have is what it looks like on the site and some of the information from the site, but I don't have what length my wig is. Um, and that is pretty much it. So I got the name of the wig and all of that. Just don't have like the length of it and all of that, all of the information about the wig that I have on, I'm going to have over here to the side or somewhere. If it's not over here to the side, check the description box because I will have it in the description box. But this is what the unit looks like on the site. It is in the style fabulous beyond celebrity style ombre frontal wig. And this is what it looks like on the site. So down here at the bottom, they have uh the this wig comes in 10 to 22 inches so you can get this wig in whatever <laughs> inches that you guys see on the screen that i have it in which i would say is maybe 20 to 22 inches or so um it, they said the weight of this wig is 180 grams hair material is 100 100 percent virgin hair from one donor it'll last for more than a year the density is 150 percent density and i do agree it does feel like it's about 150 percent density um, the color is number four and number 27, and it does obviously look like 27 and four, and it is pre-plucked. It can be dyed. It has adjustable straps, and I am wearing a medium cap size because I always wear a medium cap size. <laughs> now, this is one of those wigs that um, is pre-dyed. It's pre-colored. I wouldn't personally, I wouldn't change a thing, like I wouldn't change the coloring, but you can dye it if you want to. As far as shedding and tangling go, like literally non-existent, sis, okay, it's not even a thing. <laughs> it's not even a thing. There's no shedding, there's no tangling, and 
um, it fits really, really good. Now, I am wearing a medium cap size. I do typically wear a medium cap size. I don't see where you can get it in another size. Yeah, I don't see where you can get it in another size. So that may be their standard. But I wear a medium cap size, and there was still some space. I don't know if you guys noticed that. There was still a lot of space for me to... Um, I had a lot of wiggle room, and I like a lot of wiggle room. I like for it to be, you know, just give me a little bit more space than there was. So I do feel like this wig is very big head friendly. Now, if you do have a smaller head, I feel like you can make it work by laying it down like I did because it was a little bit bigger than, you know, than what I would normally wear or what I normally wear. But I lay my wigs down, so that's never an issue. That's why I like the wiggle room. But I feel like if you have a bigger head, you wouldn't even have to lay it down. You could literally just, the strap, the band would be enough. So I feel like this wig is good, like where small, medium, and large could wear it. It's just that if your head is really small, you're definitely going to have to lay this wig down to wear it. That's just how I feel, sis, okay? You're going to have to cut a lot of that lace off, okay? <laughs> you're going to have to cut a lot of that lace off over there by your ears and make sis fit. But I do feel like she would still work. So... As far as that, I feel like that is pretty much it. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of details, but that's pretty much it as far as those details go. Now, this unit does come with baby hairs. I did not utilize the baby hairs, and I will get more into detail about that. Hopefully, child, you remember, because you don't. You always saying that, and you don't ever remember. But hopefully, I will remember. But I didn't utilize the baby hairs, and this is what it looks like without the baby hairs. But obviously, they have this little area where you can use the baby hairs, and it is obviously pre-tweezed. Um, and it doesn't take a whole lot. Like, I feel like the hairline looked nice as is, and the parting space looked nice as is, as you guys can see. And all I did was apply my Sephora Micro Smooth to that parting space. I didn't do anything else. I didn't tweeze this wig. I didn't do anything else to this wig. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to do a quick lint check with y'all. Um, uh, keep in mind that I am 5'4". So, this is where, this is all of the hair brought to the front. And as I said to y'all, it does... To me, it feels like 180% density. I mean, 150% density is not a whole lot of hair, but it feels good. Like, it's a good natural length to me. So, this is all the hair brought to the front on me. I am 5'4", and I'm going to show you guys where it comes to me in the back. And this is where it comes to me in the back. So, it's a good length. So, I'm going to definitely, because it says it comes, it's 10 to 22 inches, I'm going to say that it's about... 22 inches like it's it's pretty long on me mind you i'm not the tallest person in the world so 22 is usually my stopping point so i would say it's about 22 so yeah that is pretty much that so if you're interested in um the little products that i did use my thoughts on this wig all of that then please continue to watch so obviously y'all i do like this wig i think it is really really nice i think it is a just a gorgeous wig the coloring everything that they did with this wig i feel like it's phenomenal like Honey, your girl, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm on this diet plan, honey, and this is going to be my vacay wig, okay? <laughs> this is going to be my vacay wig. Like, I feel like it gives you that good spring, just feel. Like, it's really, really just a nice overall wig. And the wig, honestly, it says beyond, um, beyond celebrity style wig and i feel like it's like basically yeah it is it is a fabulous beyonce celebrity style so and that's what i got even though i didn't remember that the wig said that that was the feel that i got from this unit it feels like beyonce and if you guys haven't seen that picture of beyonce um i don't know if she actually created this style but i know she made it popular with the blonde streaks in the front okay like that all beyonce all day okay <laughs> and that is the feel that this wig gave me when I put it on. I feel like the color is just done phenomenally. Like, I feel like this is a true honey. I mean, 27. Like, anytime I say 27, I'm always thinking honey blonde. Because 27 is like a honey blonde to me. But, yeah, I feel like it's a true 27. It's a true number four. And I just feel like it's a gorgeous wig. Now, I did not utilize the baby hairs for two reasons. For one, it doesn't need it. Like, I didn't feel like it needed baby hair. Sometimes we use baby hairs. A lot of times we use baby hairs because maybe the hairline doesn't look um if the hairline is too dense or the hairline doesn't look natural enough or whatever i didn't feel like this wig needed any baby hairs i feel like it looks really good without them and i feel like it would look good with them i am a baby hair person like child don't get it twisted your girl will slap a baby hair up there okay but i didn't feel like this wig really needed any baby hairs but they are there if you need them the other reason i didn't use them is because child i ain't never seen beyonce with no baby hairs have you <laughs> 
<laughs> have you sis? I am a Beyonce stand, honey. Okay, Team Virgo. If you don't like Beyonce, child, it's all good. But I do. I am a Beyonce stand. So, um, I've never seen her with any baby hair. So I kind of was going for that look with this wig. Like I want to feel, I want to feel Beyonce ish. Okay, okay. Everybody be, need a little Beyonce in them every now and then. Even if you don't like her, you can't deny old oh, girl's a hard worker, honey. Okay, WWBD. So, yeah, I like it. I think it is a gorgeous, gorgeous wig. I would completely recommend it. I would completely recommend the company. Even if you don't get this wig, I would just recommend the company because this is about my third time working with this company and I love their wigs, okay? <laughs> I have not had any issues with their units. Like, I think they're really nice. I'll, I can really say... I could recommend, I would recommend this company. Not to mention, honey, their packaging is life, okay? The packaging is nice, and packaging is everything, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, I like it. I would recommend it. If you are interested, all the information about this unit will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And just imagine, honey, getting this in, like, 10 inches. I mean, like, on, in, like, an everyday length. Like, something like that. I feel like this is a wig that will look good in any inch. Like, it doesn't matter what inch you get it in. It's still going to be bomb, okay? Like, it's just one of those wigs. So, yeah, that's how I feel. Anyways, I'm going to give you guys a full 360, and we can wrap this thing. Oh, I didn't tell y'all what I used. <sighs> okay, so I didn't use a whole lot on this unit. All I did use was my Tiggy Bed Head uh, Spray. Uh, that's just to lay the wig down, and then I did go in with my uh, Freeze It Original Freeze Volumizing Hairspray, and this is just like to kind of hold the curls. Um, I will be wearing this wig to work, so I did want these waves to kind of last, you know, and they always sent a great little goodie bag, so this little pouch, I used the comb that they had in there, and I also used this wax stick that came in that, um, that little pouch, so it is a wax stick from Love Me. I don't know if you can order it from their site, but if not, I will have a direct link to another wax stick that you can purchase from Amazon just in case you want to try a wax stick and just to lay down, you know, areas that you want to lay down. And yeah, that is really pretty much it. So now I will give you guys a full 360 and we can wrap this thing all the way up. So this is obviously the unit in the front. This is it on the left side. This is it in the back. And this is it on the right side. So yeah, as I stated, it is a look for me. If you are interested, the information will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And yeah, shout out to you, love me, okay? Shout out to you for always coming through, okay? Your girl appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> so anyways, y'all, that is pretty much it. So yeah. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, something you feel like I may have left out, feel free to comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, sis, what are you doing with your life? Like, what's good? Click the subscribe button. And if you're not already following me on all my social media platforms, I am Disastrous Beauty on both IG and Facebook. I'm held to Missy on Snapchat, and I'm Disastrous B on Twitter. And I will see you, love us, next time. Bye.